Okay, episode 191 and man, Natsu is so pissed. Man. But I just realized 7 years, he came from 7 years after. It's now like 14 years ahead of, of what Natsu is right now. Man, but <laughs> is he still going to be defeated that easily by Nats? <laughs> 14 years after. Man. And, and they still haven't learned a lot more about. Oh. But man, definitely Rogue is a lot stronger now. But man, if <laughs> if he still loses the Natsu again, man, <laughs> it's double <laughs> double the loss. Man, Natsu is so pissed right now. Natsu versus Rogue. I never, <laughs> I never expected. I never saw this coming. Man, and oh, so Mirjin is outside. I thought she could. She already fired the um the the signal. So I, I guess now they could send the signal the flare, right? But I guess it doesn't matter because it's already too late. So maybe something bad. There's somewhat kind of um, a price that needs to be paid if they use the eclipse. So that's why someone, I guess maybe Lucy, tried to close it. Man, but it's somewhat too late to evacuate the, the people. And I wonder what is the target of the dragons. <laughs> wonder if the guilds are now aware man that's still somewhat a long shot because they're betting everything on the eclipse project what if if it is not enough what what then <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. Because of Lucy. But why? How? It's 
So what made Lucy? But I guess that that Lucy said that she did not. But yeah, the future Lucy that said that she didn't um, close the portal, so someone yeah. else did, and it made then made it seem like it was Lucy. She's the end. Definitely, there's something wrong about uh, what's about to happen. Oh, now we finally. <laughs> yeah, I guess we've seen him from the. I wonder if they already alerted. Guess that at least that that would make a big difference instead of fighting ten thousand of them. Yeah, man, now they're the old dragon slayers. Man, they're so excited. Oh. <laughs> Man, but definitely something something wrong is going to happen when Androg is here. Something unexpected is going to happen. Man, I'm worried now. Cause we still we are still there's there's a lot of uncertainties with regards to what's going to happen in the future and the only person right now alive that has an idea or, or who knows what's going to happen is Rogue. And I guess it's now like somewhat the enemy. Man. Because I think so far nothing has really changed except for um, Natsu Lucy meeting the future from the from L Lucy from the future. And they still haven't get out of the palace as well. So nothing has really changed man is it still going to happen i guess they still have the option to use the time travel aspect of 
um, Eclipse Project. And may Oh, is that... Is that the... Oh, it's the pumpkin. Where's the pumpkin? What happened to the king? Oh... There's something weird about that. Yeah, I guess they still haven't res uh, resolved the issue with regards to that pumpkin. It seems like he was so powerful. And they, <laughs> man, if the dragons are really are about to appear, man, this is getting worse. Especially, two of these dragon slayers are wasting their energy. And I understand um, where Nazi is coming from as well, man. But they need to save the present right now. They're not seeing dragons. What if the dragons are going to to come out of the eclipse project? What if that's the the entry? The man. What if Rogue is the ally of the dragons? I didn't think of that. Oh man, is this is this the dragons? The dragons are going to appear. This is where they're going to come out, and the eclipse project was just. A ruse, a trap that is not really about time travel or something. It is, it is about time travel, but, but man, it's maybe it's the gateway for the drag. Maybe this is where the dragons are sealed, and my maybe that's one of the reasons. Um, man. Oh man, I think I think it's it it might be possible that. Rogue is working with the dragons. Maybe he is an ally of the dragons. And he, he came back to make sure that it will happen. Man. Man, but everyone is somewhat tired. They still haven't had the day day to prepare to rest. Yeah, Wendy's not there. Man, is the dragons really coming from the sky? Cause they're not seeing anything right now. Cause I think they should have seen any something right now. Cause especially ten thousand dragons, that would be easily spotted. Man, what if this is where the dragons will be coming from? Man, I'm so worried. And maybe that's the reason why Lucy wanted to close the portal. But I guess it's still... Why will she interfere though? The stand is destined to close. So I guess yeah, it's still somewhat not. Maybe it's not what I'm thinking with regards to the dragon. But at least now, um, I guess Rogue is somewhat <laughs> uh able to oh man <laughs> so so really cool whenever a nuts come by sa man oh what's that Oh, 
Oh. Oh, he also. Oh, he has things. Dragon Slayer magic. So he was, I guess he was able to learn the white, white slayer magic of Sting. Oh, what happened to Rogue? But I guess he doesn't have his right eye. What 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 made Rogue turn out to be like this? Man. Who was that? Oh, Ultir. No, he's being sucked in by Oh man, and that's just now out of commission. I think it's uh, the portal to the dragons. Man. <laughs> I think this is the portal of the dragons. I think Rogue, Rogue is working with the dragons and he knows that uh, but yeah I guess it's but why is he sh so sure that Lucy will close the gates and if Lucy did was able to close the gates how come the dragon was still able if it this is if what I'm thinking is that is the is that the portal is the gateway to the dragons oh What's happening to Lucy? Or maybe it, something is forcing Lucy to close it? Why? Definitely there's a strong reason. A big reason why. Um, 
So maybe Lucy saw something that. Yeah, I'm still I'm still somewhat really, somewhat eighty percent, seventy percent um sus suspicious that. Maybe that portal, is where the dragons will be coming from. Cause they're not seeing any visible, I guess, sightings of the dragons. Ten thousand dragons, that's a lot of um, uh, it's like I guess an a battalion or a squad or or something of of dragons, and that's those those are large creatures. They are they should be easily spotted. I guess even just ten of them, and ten thousands of them definitely would be, I guess, covering up the skies people will be sight will be seeing them and I guess from a mile away or something they will be able to um spot it and recognize it that it's going to uh, get from a very far pl far place ahead they would definitely especially maybe there's also some kind of wizard that has some kind of vision or something of a, of a specific place so man I think that's the only reason the only possible reason Lucy would, um, I guess, decide to close the gate is, is what if that's where the dragons will be coming from? But the thing is, I guess what's, what's really conflicting is, Rogue said that Lucy will definitely close the portal. So the, por the portal will be closed. But the future Lucy said she did not close the portal. So, I guess that's what's somewhat uh, confusing with regards to that. Because right now we're seeing, I guess maybe, maybe Lucy is unconsciously doing it, closing the portal. So maybe that's the case. That's the reason why the future Lucy doesn't remember she closed the portal. And I guess maybe that's how the 10,000 dragons. Um, so yeah, I guess that's just a mysterious thing for me. And um, what I'm predicting is that um, I guess from what we're seeing, maybe Rogue is undergoing the same um, phase as Acnologia. Is that I guess he's being so obsessed with Dragon Slayer magic. That he's somewhat turning into a dragon. Maybe he's already a dragon. And he's now able to somewhat revert back to becoming a human. Because they did say the dragon that they met uh, from the graveyard that dragon slayers eventually becomes dragons. The, I guess some the more they use their dragon slayer magic. So maybe that is the case for for Rogue and then and then I guess one of the things that made that was enab that enabled him to become part of the dragons is for him to kill um, Sting and maybe took his power or something like that so which is really surprising because I thought um, Rogue is the kind of person that is somewhat also similar to Sting that is isn't really that much of I guess that that is for evil that much I would understand if I guess eventually maybe later on they will reveal that He's doing this for Frosh or something, and uh, but I but I figured that it would be somewhat similar if it's it's if it's about also with Sting. But now he's saying he killed Sting, and I guess took his power as well. So yeah, so maybe something there's something definitely driving him to do this instead of other other than him just being evil and I guess deciding for this to happen because the thing is if he is really rogue and he knows that um, I guess he wouldn't want the future to happen as well so I think that's the, the, the thing that unless I guess that's I guess unless he's so deep with uh, within the connections with the dragon that yeah, but I guess that's really confusing with regards to Rogue's motivation because it's... Because now I'm really sus suspecting whether or not he really cares for the future of humanity. But at the same time... Yeah, why would he want to stop? Why, why would he want humanity to suffer in the first place? What is his motivation? 
and because uh, I think all he cares about is Frosh and I guess maybe a little bit about Sting but if if he if that's if that's the case why would he let I guess the future become destroyed by the dragons and if the reason yeah I guess maybe maybe the connection with Lucy closing the portal is not really connected about the dragons maybe it is really about maybe if if Lucy really did close the portal um the dragons will attack so maybe that's it's really what maybe what he's saying is true somewhat true so maybe we'll see because we still ha we're still not sure where the guns to why is Lucy get I guess because Lucy is somewhat unconsciously doing it so maybe so maybe it's connected with the gate keys so maybe that's why she's somewhat forced to close the the cliffs project so maybe definitely there's something else going on and I guess that's what I'm really curious about and I guess that's the mystery right now is that why is Lucy I guess is, is she un unconsciously closing the portal and does she, she are she not aware of it or maybe she saw something I guess she, she she was the only one who's able to see it that made her realize that she needs to close the portal I guess to, to close the door of the Eclipse project so and uh, and if Rogue is saying if what Rogue is saying is true that destiny will take place so Lu Lucy will will really close the portal so it is inevitable that it's going to happen so what's the consequence of closing the portal will be is it really um, um, is it really vital to destroying I guess a lot of dragons but the thing is I wonder why we still haven't seen any dragon from now especially that the eclipse has already started so yeah I guess they're still not sure with regards to the time of when the dragons will appear so I guess that's the thing is that maybe maybe there's a specific time that eventually we, they will notice that the dragons will appear. maybe it will, it will become directly above the eclipse project or something that they will not be able to foresee so but I'm really somewhat um, worried and I guess it's somewhat I guess it's the only th possible way I guess the 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 worst case scenario that I'm thinking right now is that if that portal is really where the dragons will be coming from they're definitely screwed because who are the people who, on that eclipse eclipse gate Lucy and I guess a few of the exits the soldiers the princess and Arcadius what will they do against 10,000 dragons if there's if there will be 10,000 dragons or something like that so yeah I guess that's the mis the mystery and um, what what I'm really worried about and yeah who knows but man things are getting more and more intense now and definitely the, sh the situation has become so so worse now because before we have I guess we have future Lucy to at least guide them on what they have to avoid now they don't know what they have to do now they don't have any um, reference to to go for and I think that's the the biggest thing with the time travel is that um, usually the story revolves around someone who knows has the information with regards to the future but man that our main characters right now are clueless on what's about to happen and the thing is if that's the case if destiny will really somewhat just um, unfold as it is has already happened so and i wonder how will they be able to change it and what will be the the condition for it to be changed so man things are getting uh, really interesting now a lot more and when the reveals with Rogue and I guess the death of future Lucy and man so and also with regards to I guess Shyla did have a vision so we're still somewhat not still not seeing that vision with regards to Lucy somewhat singing in the top of the palace or something and the palace is crumbling down so this there's that's still not we're still not seeing that so maybe eventually I guess they have Sharla. So I think Sharla is one of the most important um, 
uh, person right now that would be able to give a hint with regards to the future so maybe she could avoid maybe now this time hopefully this time they could avoid what's going to happen because i think she she could maybe she could if she has some kind of vision i think that's what her powers are really about is because uh, from the edelas she just followed the her vision and that's why it happened but i think she she was able to she she she'd be able to avoid it if she really if she wanted to so yeah those are my thoughts this episode man this episode is getting better and better and um i'm really excited to finally see the d day <laughs> it's slowly unfolding it's it's uh it's ro- slowly getting there and we're getting bit of bit bits and bits of that and i guess the good one of the good thing is that we, almost everyone know that's dragon that dragons are coming and that they are somewhat excited but i'm really worried because i guess they're not they're yeah I, they already encountered acnologia so at least they have an idea <laughs> of i guess the highest i guess the ceiling of what a dragon could be so and guild arts is, is, isn't here so man this is going to be the i mean this is going to be somewhat and yeah i guess we've seen the future and it it, re- it really was bad and i guess now we'll just have to see ha- see it happen so <laughs> man yeah yeah so how about you guys what are your thoughts on this episode just leave it in the comments down below and leave a like and subscribe if this is your first time here and if you want to watch my reaction to the next episode it is also now available on my patreon just go to the link in the description down below and there you will have an early access and it will really help support this channel and help me create more reaction videos like this in the future so thank you again for watching see you in my next video have a great day